Today's show on Malcolm X is actually a class that I presented to my ninth grade students in the year 2017. I would consider it an introduction to Malcolm X. It's an excellent place to start. If you don't know much about Malcolm X, you would absolutely enjoy this introduction. You should follow it up by reading the autobiography of Malcolm X. Uh, more recently, there is an extensive history of Malcolm X written by Manning Marable. There is the book by Les Payne and his daughter Tamara Payne, The Dead Are Arising. There's just so much literature out there on Malcolm X. You can read his daughter's book, Ilyasa Shabazz, The Awakening of Malcolm X. You can go into Malcolm X, The Man in His Times, written by Dr. John Henry Clark. But before you do all of that, just start here. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. You can share this with any person on any level who wants to know Malcolm X and has not been introduced to them yet. It's an introduction to Malcolm X. to review our subject matter, which was Malcolm X, and X is not his last name. No. X is not his last name. So who knows what X means? Or think you know what X means? Think. Unknown. You think it means the unknown? Yeah. What about you? Like a placeholder. A placeholder. What do you have, Mike? I know. Okay. okay. What about some of the answers other people had? Some of us said that Malcolm X the tenth. It could be short for Xavier. Who was that? Ralph. Ralph. It was Ralph. Ralph. Others said it might be a Roman numeral because we talked about that, and we said, for example, some folks said like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali had a son. His son would be Muhammad Ali Jr. He has a son that would be the third. He has a son that would be the fourth, fifth. You get all the way up to the tenth. And the X in Roman numeral is ten. Right? For Roman numerals, the symbol of X is a ten. So some thought it could be that. Correct? Correct. Right. Like you, right, Malik? So, what have we um, learned about Brother Malcolm and his name? Ralph. His real birth name was Malcolm Little. So his birth name was Malcolm Little. And where was he born? He was born in Omaha, Omaha Nebraska. Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. All right. His father, his father was a member of the UNIA and African Communities League. Who knows what that is? Nobody. It was, a, it was an organization, organization that Marcus Garvey Woo! had set up. Let's go. And here it is. It was an organization that Marcus like, Garvey had set up. It was an like, organization was for black people, by black people, that the Uncle Marcus Mosiah Garvey set up. The initial stands for Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League. To this date, it's the largest all-black global organization ever in the history of the world. At its height, it had over four million functioning members. So he's born in Omaha, Nebraska, with a, a name given to him, Little, from his parents. Eventually, he finds himself in Detroit after moving, and he becomes known as what? Detroit Red. Say it again. Detroit Red. Detroit Red. Why? Because. Because. Yes. Because he's from Detroit. He was here. Because he was from Detroit, and like yours, his head was red. From Detroit, he goes to Harlem, where he gets the nickname. But they didn't call him Detroit Red in Detroit. 
they started calling them Detroit Red in Harlem. Right? While in Harlem, he began to do some illegal things. Anyone know some of the illegal things he used to do? No. No. He was he was robbing and burglarizing homes. He was using drugs. He was stealing. He was a petty criminal and thief. He gets arrested. He goes to prison. He picks up another nickname. Which was what? Satan. Satan? Why did they call him Satan in prison? He was mean. What you got? Because he was mean. Well, there's some people are mean in prison. But why would they call him Satan? Because he was bad. He was real mean. He didn't talk to anyone. Right? And then, what happened? What made him change directions? Cement. Uh, I think, remember, was his sister that told him, that requested him that he should meet Elijah Muhammad? His brother and sister, what? Uh, they told him that they met this big man named Elijah Muhammad. They told him they met a man named Elijah Muhammad. And he started researching it and they gave him what? He, uh, he, he, he began to read. What, what did he read? The Bible. He started speaking. He read every book he can read. He read every book he could read. What else? He got a dictionary and read it. He got a dictionary. I mean, he and read, read all the words in the dictionary. From front to back, he read all of them. So he began to improve his vocabulary. He read some of the literature of Elijah Muhammad, and he stopped using drugs. He decided from that point on he wasn't going to use drugs anymore. Right? He also decided to change his diet. So he gets out of prison and he goes to meet who? And Elijah Muhammad has an organization called what? The Nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam. This is good review. Good job, brothers. And so when he's in the Nation of Islam, Elijah Muhammad begins to give out names. And so he like our naming ceremony, right? And so he says, all right, Malcolm, from now on, you're going to be known as Malcolm what? Nope. No. What? Malik. It was Malik. No. And so why was he giving his members the symbol of X? For the unknown. Or like a placeholder. It was a placeholder for the unknown because they were... No, no longer the little. Slave master because no the longer slave master little. Yes. Because they were carrying what? The slave, slave master's name. The slave master's name. Yeah. As a result of our people being in slavery. Right, James? As a result of our people being in slavery, many of us took on what? A slave master's name. Slave master's name. And so we knew because we were from Africa, we couldn't have English names. We weren't French. We weren't German. So we shouldn't have been carrying French names, German names, English names, Irish names, Italian names, any European name, right? So he gave us in him X because he was no longer little and his last name was unknown. So. So from there on, he decided that he became worthy of a name of his own. And what name did he give Malcolm X? Shabazz. So he becomes known as Malcolm Shabazz. And then later on, he goes on a pilgrimage to where? Mecca. And anyone who goes to Mecca, he goes on high. Goes on a high. And then they take on the name El Hajj. El Hajj. Now, El Hajj is not necessarily your name. 
It's like a prefix. Or it's like a mister. Or missus. It's, it defines something about you. So if you had a PhD or if you were an attorney, you have Esquire at the end of your name, right? It indicates that you've done something, right? So if you have a PhD like Dr. Bayat, right? Or Dr. Baba. Or Dr. Ma, yes. Dr. Mama. That, Dr. Ma, that means they had to do what to be called that? Get a, get a PhD and doctors, yeah. They went where to get that? College. They went to school, right? They went to college, right? Yes. Stay focused. I need you to stay focused. So he didn't go to college. He went to uh, Mecca. Mecca. And because he went to Mecca, he became known as, as El Hal Hodge Mal Malcolm Shabazz. Right? So we're watching the transformation. He's going through what some would call, I need you to stay focused. Sit down properly. I'm not going to talk to you again. He's going through what some would call a revolutionary spiritual and cultural rites of passage. Like we do. When we go through rites of passage, we go through naming ceremonies. We get to learn more about ourselves. We have to go through different things that are just private and unto the group. And it's mandatory to do what here? Have uh, get uh, um get all four years and serve in leadership. And in order to do what? Graduate. 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 You can't graduate or go on to the next level unless you go through four years of rites of passage. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. So Malcolm's going through his revolutionary. Let me hear you say revolutionary. 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 He's going through his spiritual. Let me hear you say spiritual. 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 And he's going through his cultural. Let me hear you cultural. say cultural. Cultural. Rites of passage. So he's changing names as he moves through the process. Yes. Later on, he takes on Malik or Malik. My fault. And he became known as El Haj Malik Shabazz. Why did he um, get rid of Malcolm and, be, and call himself Malik? Yes. Because, it was, because he realized that Malcolm was an English name. Because he realized that Malcolm was an English name, and because he was Muslim, he wanted a name to reflect his what? Arab. An Arab name. Uh, the Middle Eastern. Religion. 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 Right? So, <laughs> and because Islam is often affiliated with Arabic, he chose Mali. But then he goes where? Africa. He goes where? Africa. He goes where? Africa. And when he gets to Africa, what happens? They changed, his, they changed his name to Omawali because they said that the that, that Malik is an Arab name and hit the um, Omawali is an African name, which means the child has come home. So they changed his name again. They uh -huh. said, you know, brother, we want to bestow you with another name. And they called him, as Brother Samaris told us, Omawali. The child has come home. The child has come home. All right, so let's review. The name. He goes from Malcolm Matt Little, Detroit Red, Satan, Malcolm X, Malcolm Shabazz, El Haj Malcolm Shabazz, El Haj Malik Shabazz, El Haj Omawali Shabazz. No. Omawali. So he also has this name. So. That was quality review. I'm proud of you. Clearly, we've learned the lesson, most of us. And now we're going to put pen to paper to see whether or not we can answer the questions individually. Yay, Bo? Yay, Bo. All right.